Okay, good morning. Um, it's a bit of an unusual day this. This is Greenhill Hall, which uh, most of you will know from our videos is our current exhibition layout. It's really rather more important than that because it's actually the first thing that got us into model railways, specifically down this little bit here. When we first ballasted that and did the um, scatter, it just looked like a model railway and we put a lot of effort in, we pa painted the sleepers and this really is what fired us up and then became almost by default um, our exhibition layout. The problem with it is it's too heavy, it's beginning to show its age, the scatter's going, the hills actually come away at the back here now, you can get your fingers under there, um, and we don't have the room for it, so very sadly it's got to go. But what we had a thought of, and I'll, I'll show you the magazine and at the end of this we'll do it as an edit, was a guy reading, writing in Continental Modeler gave me the idea that if we save some of this, then the work's not lost and if in some ways it sort of lives on. And then Douglas actually had the idea that we could do better than that and actually cut a big chunk of it out and use it ready built for our next layout. So what we're going to do now is just take this apart and take some of the bits off to use for the next layout. So let's show you, let's have a go and see how it goes. So what we're hoping to do is take this whole village off including the hill. Now I suspect that this will then later have to be cut off separately but for the moment I'm going to try and do it as one piece. Um, part of the idea of dismantling Green Hill came from this. Um, I read Continental Modeler, I find it much more useful for freelance model railways than Railway Modeler that's become very, in my view, formulaic. Yet another, you know, Great Western Railway with a run out and DCC and static grass and I like Continental Modeler. In this month, particular edition that was February 2017, uh, there was this guy called Douglas Rhodes, obviously interesting as well because it's my son's first name. And when you read the article, he says about breaking up a uh, layout to take components out to use for another one. And that gave me the train of thought that made me quite happy with taking Green Hill apart. So it's interesting where your inspiration comes from. Sadly, Douglas Rhodes passed away just before this magazine was published. Um, and I think it is interesting that when you do something, you know, that's his little legacy. Um, we won't know each other, uh, but his ideas gave us an idea to carry on with our layout. So his uh, input to the model railways will continue in a small way through our layout. 
Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series, click on the right for another video you might enjoy, and please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.